I want to go live to Bradley Davis, who has been in Humphreys County today in Silver City, one of the communities hit the hardest. And Bradley, I know you've had a chance to talk to some of the people who've been on the ground for a while there. Yeah, that's right, Megan. And you can see just behind me and, you know, all around me because of how much it's destroyed is this semi truck. Um, you know, the damage kind of speaks for itself. You see its content spilled everywhere. And then up here, like, you know, anyone who's been close to a semi truck knows these things are built pretty sturdy and the paneling is all torn off. And you see the, you know, the, the whole cabin where all of these bags were is just gone. And, you know, as if that wasn't crazy enough, uh, Tamika, the Belzona uh, circuit clerk that you just heard from earlier in the show, she told me that this semi truck on the east side of town was originally at the post office all the way on the west side over a football field away. So the tornado picked this truck up and threw it across the road. That just to give you an idea of how strong this tornado was and the destruction here, you know, th that just kind of speaks to it. I know. Um, I know uh, Rolling Fork, you know, it's, it's, it's devastating there. You know, they, this city, Silver City, is dealing with their own, their own tragedy. Uh, she also confirmed to me that she knows personally of three people who, uh, who have died here in this, in this tragic event from that tornado uh, just last night. And the sheriff, he told me that this, the city, Silver City, is going to be under a curfew tonight starting at 8 p.m. And they're going to be under 24-hour security because, as you can see, like a lot of the, from, from this truck, a lot of the houses, they're also pretty compromised. So they're just trying to shut, shut things down keep the cleaning process going, the community healing, and prevent, you know, these, these citizens from um, undergoing any more unnecessary harm here tonight. All right, Megan, that's all I have from Silver City. Reporting live, I'm Bradley Davis, WAPT News.